The, uh, the, uh... The Aberrian Thule! The circumstances have left Guyon and Zia with few options. Prolonging Giard's life only endangers their own. <laughs> but Giard's blood and even his flesh could provide them with nourishment. Aldo and Bataijan. Was good then, guys. Like at the dance thingy, Grigia. Thousands of miles from home was a vision like this caused by starvation or madness. One scientist believes he can explain the mysterious appearance of mountains far out in the sea. University of Manitoba physicist Valdemar Lane is a mirage hunter. He searches for these strange phenomena in the Canadian Arctic. People living in Arctic conditions, such as the Inuit or anyone in northern Canada, they're generally very familiar with these mirages. They would see them quite frequently. Lane has recorded many sightings. To explain them, he investigated how light behaves in cold climates. He discovered the ultra-cold temperatures above the surface of an ice sheet actually cause light rays to bend. This means that the impossible is now possible. Objects can be seen beyond the horizon. In a very clear air, you could see two or three hundred kilometers. In fact, um, there have been documented cases where someone has seen a distance of 500 kilometers and actually recognized the object they were looking at. But because the light rays are bent, the image is distorted. I believe in very early times the mirage would have been interpreted as being some kind of magical display on the horizon. The hunters finally have hope of reaching land, but they have no way of knowing what the land is or if they'll survive long enough to get there. Exhausted, the group drifts for days. Malnutrition begins to take its toll. But carried by the ocean currents, 
They are about to make a great discovery. Finally, after months surviving on the frozen ocean, the hunters have arrived in the new world. <laughs> but where exactly are they? These are the Grand Banks. 17,000 years ago, this was the easternmost tip of North America. Today, these islands are submerged because when the ice age ended, billions of gallons of ice in the polar caps melted. Sea levels rose almost 500 feet. The entire coastline of North America was pushed back 100 miles. But for the hunters, the Grand Banks were a gateway to the New World. Their ocean voyage of more than 3,000 miles was at an end. But their discovery of the New World had just begun. cure to Giard's illness. This is scurvy grass. Ice Age people knew its medicinal qualities. The stems are rich in vitamin C, exactly what Giard's body so desperately needs. The young hunters are recovering from their odyssey at sea, scavenging what food they can find in the barren landscape. Back home in Europe's harsh environment, mammoths were dying out. But in North America, the mammoth thrived, feeding off extensive grasslands. 